Hey guys, so today I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment, so I thought I'd give you guys a little update and um, I'll update you on the way in the car, but today I'm going to go see my doctor. Um, like I said in my last video, I just kind of want to get some answers. I want to kind of get the ball rolling, so let's go. Okay, so there's not really much to update on um, since I last left off. So I obviously, um, I ovulated. I ovulated on cycle day 18 again. And um, it's 10 DPO now. <clears throat> One of the biggest symptoms that I've had this um, two week wait is my boobs are so sore like they haven't been this sore in a long time during my cycles um, it's not so much like you know the nipple sensitivity anymore it's like just the under boob they just feel full they just feel really sore um, like throbbing on their own also but definitely tender to the touch so I don't know if that means that my period is on its way or that something might be going on um, but other than that there hasn't been really much symptoms this cycle so I really don't know if I'm pregnant or not I did take the test today to make sure if I was pregnant I would know before I went to um, my doctor's appointment but it said negative and it still can be early so I don't really know I just took a dollar store test and um, one of the cheapo Wanfo tests, which that never even showed up until I was like 11, 12 DPO, so it's probably too early. But definitely time to good again this cycle. Everything was on point, on track, and really no reason why we wouldn't get pregnant. But if we don't, then that just is another, you know, red flag as to why am I not getting pregnant? So. We'll see how the appointment goes. I'll update you guys once I'm done with the appointment. And I'll show you the nice day today. It's so beautiful outside today. You'll probably be able to see Mount Rainier and everything. So I'm a little bit early to today. I think I'm going to start walking in in like five minutes, but I had to stop by for my coffee. Anytime I'm in this side of town, I always have to get this coffee. It is my favorite coffee. It's a local organic coffee company, and they're only located on a certain side of town. So whenever I'm here, I have to get it. And I get a, usually I, I mean, lately I've been getting single shots, but they usually come with a double. So I get a single iced blonde Hawaiian, sometimes less sweet but it's so good i think it's like macadamia nut coconut um yeah it is so good mm. so i had to get that i had a couple of minutes but and oh my glasses i hate how sunglasses always leave marks on your nose like that's the worst thing ever I'm gonna put those away. Anyways, life's been pretty normal, I guess. Um, the weather's starting to get really nice finally here, and so summer's definitely on its way. Um, next month, in July, our family members are coming to visit us. We're gonna have a full house, so like 
my husband's twin brother, his girlfriend, and their son, our nephew, um, they come and visit us every few months, like especially during the summertime because it's so much nicer here and there's so much more to do here than where they live. So um, they're going to come visit us again. I know in my last video, one of my last videos, previous videos, I had talked about how they were visiting us, but they literally visit us like ever since our nephew was born, every four or five, I think the longest we've gone is six or seven months apart before we see them again, which is really nice. I mean, we feel really blessed that we get to see our nephew even though he lives so far away. But I don't know if that's going to change after he turns two because I don't think that they can fly for free after two or something like that. But I hope they keep it up so that we can see him. It's a lot easier for them to come visit us than it is for us to go there because my brother-in-law, he works one month on and one month off. So when they have a month off, they could literally come here for a whole month. We could still work. They do their own thing. We hang out on the weekends. It's a lot of fun. But um, his, so my husband, brother and them are coming. And then for the last kind of four days, my husband's dad and his two younger half siblings are coming, which they've never been here before. And that's going to be really nice for my husband to have his dad here because his dad's never visited him here and he's never seen our house. We bought our house about a year and a half ago. So I just can't wait to see how he reacts to um, one of his youngest sons, his youngest son. Um, it's a new house, you know, like a house that he bought. I mean, he didn't really have much when he was younger. So to be a homeowner and have things that we have and our beautiful home and everything like that is just a big, big thing for him. So I can't wait till his dad gets to see. That'll be special. But so yeah, we have a lot of things to look forward to next month and if we're not pregnant, I don't know if we're going to try next month just so that I can have fun and go out and drink and have, you know, have just like nothing on my mind and not stress out. So we'll see. But I'm going to start heading in now. So I will see you guys afterwards and I'll update you. Okay guys, so I'm home now. Um, I just got done making an appointment, but so I saw my doctor today, my regular OBGYN, and just to kind of ask her some questions about, you know, what I should be doing next, what I want to be doing next. So we just kind of had a sit down talk consult today. And basically she told me that it sounds like I kind of want to go down that fertility route. Um, she doesn't really do any testing, she said, um, like pre-fertility, infertility diagnostic type of testings in her office. They work Monday through Friday, you know, 7.30 to 5 or 4.30 or whatever it is. So they don't really like, she said that basically she doesn't have the tools um, available to, you know, for me to like get what I want, basically. Like she said that if I go to a fertility clinic, they're going to be able to monitor me, monitor my follicles, kind of evaluate my ovulation and my cycle, um, maybe do some ultrasounds throughout my cycle, things like that, blood work, um, maybe a nice HSC, or what is it called? HSE, um, and like a sperm analysis, all those things that she can't actually do in her own, like in her office at the OBG, general OBGYN level. So she did kind of give me the okay to go ahead and seek a fertility um, clinic. So the one that I had called previously in my last video, I did go ahead and make an appointment for July 3rd over there. So they're going to do a, consult, you know, a t consult first and then kind of go from there after they review all my medical history and everything. But, you know, um, my regular OB still seems to think, you know, that there's no, no issues. I mean, it's, she's only seen a very few amount of cases where couples have gotten pregnant and been successful, but maybe had a miscarriage or maybe for their second pregnancy, they've had, they've had issues. And it turns out like maybe there was a male factor infertility issue and just was, a, you know, a miracle lucky draw that they got pregnant. And things like that, which she doesn't seem to think that there's anything really 
like that going on with us but she does understand that I kind of want to be more proactive and um, even if I did all the testing we did all the testing and it came out that everything was normal and that there was nothing wrong that would give me reassurance to peacefully keep trying without thinking in the back of my mind oh is it not happening because something's wrong you know and I know that I'm not the only one that feels that way so we'll see what happens um, you know it gives me about it's about a month away right yeah three and a half four weeks away and that'll give me enough time to kind of mentally prepare myself for that next you know, chapter if that, if that is what we need to do is to go through IUIs or for IVFs. So we'll see what happens, but it, it does make me feel a little bit better. Um, like I said, I'm 10 DPO today and today this morning's test came out negative. So I guess I'll wait a few more days and see if um, we'll test again and see if I am pregnant. My breast are so sore my boobs are so sore and so tender they just feel really full and and sore so I don't know if that means that my period is coming or if I am pregnant so we'll see but um, just wanted to give you guys a little update um, my videos are pretty sparse and sporadic right now because there's really nothing much to update on and literally like my whole channel is just about trying to conceive I don't really do a lot of like everyday vlogs or anything like that so for now this is what it is um so thanks for being sticking through our journey with us if you've subscribed um i'll try to put more videos up and hopefully we'll have good news soon thanks guys bye